Hey guys, it's Amanda. Today we are watching a brand new comedian, James Acaster. Caster? Acaster. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I don't know anything about him, so I'm looking forward to this. Remember to leave all of your recommendations in the comments or head over to my Instagram at LadyRayUK and leave them there. I promise you I'm making my way through the list. There's just a lot of suggestions, but I am always looking for more. When I was five years old, my grandmother came into my school and gave a talk about a spinning wheel. <laughs> Back home, that always like gets a reaction. Like people are like, ah, that's so weird. But I know that over here, you're like, yeah, we assume all British schools do that. <laughs> Just teach each other about spinning wheels and then go back to your castle. <laughs> but just so you know, it's weird back home as well. We didn't have much money, so they asked my grandmother to come in and talk about a spinning wheel for a lesson. And at the end of the, the talk that she gave, she said, right, hey, do any of you kids want to get up and have a go on the spinning wheel? And my hand shot up immediately. Right, because as far as I can remember, always, if I've ever been watching someone on a stage or giving a talk, I've always wanted to be up there. I was like, now's my chance, I'm finally going to get on stage, definitely, because she'll pick me. This is my nan, right? I've put in the hours with her. <laughs> she already likes me, none of these fucking kids. She didn't know any of these punks. <laughs> she definitely, I didn't know at five that it would have looked insane if she had gone, who wants to have a go on the spinning wheel? Yeah, my grandson, who I see every Sunday, has never once showed an interest in my life or the spinning wheel. <laughs> Come on up. I didn't know that. Long story short, she chose three other kids, and I, this is a classy move, burst into tears. <laughs> Cried so loud, and then she panicked and was like, OK, you can come up and use it, cos you're not a teacher. She doesn't know that that was the worst thing she could have done. She was like, yeah, yeah, OK, come up then, fine. And I went up, I was in floods of tears, using the spinning wheel in front of all my classmates, as they're crying and spinning wool <laughs> relentlessly. And that was my first time ever on stage. <laughs> and when I told my therapist that story, he was like, hmm, yeah, OK. <laughs> well, that'll be that then. That'll be the answer to everything we've been talking about in all the sessions. <laughs> Every time you're in an audience and you're not on stage, you feel like your grandmother doesn't love you. And then when you're on stage, you feel like you're crying in front of all of your classmates and you're humiliating yourself. <laughs> That's called a breakthrough. You owe me double this session. <laughs> then he said, this is what you've got to remember, James. Every time you're on stage, it's not just you up there. That little boy's there too. And you've got to protect that boy every time you're on stage. Which, just so you know, uh, is more stressful than just doing stand-up. <laughs> every time I'm up here, I'm like, just walking out on stage, protect the boy! I've got to protect the boy for the whole thing, and if someone heckles, I'm like, fuck you, he's a boy! He's just a boy, what are you shouting out of the boy for? He's a boy! <laughs> I don't always protect the boy. I try. Once, it's like seven years ago, I walked out on stage, and I was like really super-duper baby-faced back then, and I walked out, and a lady immediately shouted out. She went, Oh, does your mummy know you're up this late? <laughs> and that is a heckle aimed directly at the boy. <laughs> Phew, does your mummy know you're up this late? And I didn't like it, made me feel bad. She said it seven times, and this is a roundabout way of telling you that this is the story of the time that once I claimed on stage that my mum was dead when she wasn't. <laughs> That's how I dealt with that heckle the seventh time around. Does your mummy know you're up this late? My mum is dead, and then I added unnecessarily really recently as well. <laughs> Here's the thing, if you're trying to protect a boy, don't joke about his mum being dead for no reason. <laughs> the boy didn't make the boy feel any better. Me and the boy were going home in the car. And I was like, I'm sorry I lied about your mum being dead, mate. I'm just trying to protect you. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll level with you. There's a clock at the back. It says 40 seconds. I've not got any material that lasts that long. <laughs> So he had some he had some funny bits. But I never like to judge really on one video. Because obviously it's like what was that like 5 minutes? 
of all of the stand-up that he does. Because if I was going solely on that, it it was okay. It was okay. So if you like him, send me more of his bits so I can watch a bit more, and then I'll decide. Because from that, meh, there was a few laughs, but it wasn't my favorite. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.